Preparing for Bariatric Surgery There are many different types of bariatric surgery. To the upper left, for people who are having the Ruin Y or gastric bypass, this is what your new stomach will look like. Ideally, it can hold about 30 milliliters. To the upper right, the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, this is what your new stomach will look like. Ideally, it can hold between 90 and 100 milliliters. In the middle, the duodenal switch. This is what your new stomach will look like. Ideally, it can hold between 90 and 100 milliliters. Your surgery will be laparoscopic. Some of the benefits of having this type of surgery includes less pain, smaller incisions, shorter hospital stay, avoiding post-operative complications like wound infection and hernia. On this slide, it gives you an example of where your incisions will be after surgery. To the left is what your surgery will be, the laparoscopic, and to the right is what the surgery used to look like, open surgery. As you can see, the in six small incisions. Potential complications. With any surgery, there's always going to be potential for complications. Here are some of the complications that can occur with this surgery. Death or mortality, bleeding, deep vein thrombosis or blood clots, pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot that travels into the lung, pneumonia, infection, reflux, heart attack, and leaks. Preparing for surgery. For people who are having the gastric sleeve, your op time is approximately one to two hours. Your stay in the hospital is approximately one to two nights, and we're expected to begin being active physically as soon as you get settled into your room. Remember, walking, walking, walking. For people who are having the gastric bypass, your op time is between one to three hours. Your stay in the hospital, approximately two nights. And just like the sleeve, you're expected to be walking in as soon as possible. Duodenal switch, your operative time is three to four hours and your hospital stay is about two to three nights. And like the bypass and gastric sleeve, you're expected to begin walking as soon as possible. Preparing for surgery. Before surgery, you should have been meeting with your dietitian in order to lose weight. One of the benefits of losing weight before surgery is to shrink your liver. Buying your protein and vitamins before surgery is a great way to prepare for, for it in order for you not to be scrambling after. It's important to stop birth control one month to prior to surgery and making sure that you use barrier contraceptive methods. It's important to avoid alcohol two weeks prior to surgery and to stop smoking eight weeks before surgery, at minimum. Avoid aspirin and NSAIDs such as Motrin and blood thinners for seven days before surgery. If you are taking a prescription blood thinner or aspirin, discuss the plan with your surgeon, PA, primary doctor, and cardiologist before. Be sure to speak to your primary care doctor or your specialist before surgery to discuss the plan for your prescription medicine before and after surgery. Clear liquids for 48 hours before surgery is requested by your surgeon. That means anything that you can see through is okay. Feel free to look back at your nutrition packet for more details on what is a clear liquid diet. At midnight, you're requested to have nothing to eat or drink.
physical activity as tolerated is highly recommended after surgery. Doing at least 30 minutes of physical activity, like walking, reduces your risk for blood clots. After surgery, you're cleared to climb stairs, treadmill, bicycle, or any other type of cardiovascular activity. You're asked not to do any heavy lifting for four to six weeks after surgery. You may resume sexual activities three weeks after surgery. You may resume driving approximately two weeks after surgery, depending on your pain medicine. Incision care. It's important that you shower daily, but take no tub baths. Wash using soap and water, rinse and pat dry. Dermabond will loosen and fall off. Do not apply lotion, cream, or ointment to the Dermabond. Avoid wearing a girdle, abdominal binder, or tight clothing three to four weeks after surgery. Incentive spirometer. After, while in the hospital, you will be given an incentive spirometer. spirometer. It's important that you use this 10 times a day, 10 times every hour, for the first week after surgery. Avoid dehydration. One of the most common reasons for hospital readmission after surgery is dehydration. Remember the goal is to consume four ounces every hour. If you're using a one ounce cup, that's approximately one cup every 15 minutes. Medications. Pain medication, like Percocet may be prescribed to you when discharged at the hospital. It's extremely important to reduce the times you're using this. You can take a Tylenol, as, such as a, you can take acetaminophen, such as Tylenol, which is over the counter. After surgery, do not take aspirin or NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, Advil, Aleve, Naproxen, or Naproxen, as these can cause ulcer. Constipation. Constipation is a common problem after surgery. It's extremely important that you stay hydrated. Use the stool softener that's prescribed at your at time of discharge. Approximately one month after surgery, you'll be recommended to incorporate Benefiber. Pregnancy after surgery. Female patients must avoid pregnancy for approximately 18 to 24 months after bariatric surgery. If you do become pregnant, it's important to see your OBGYN before bariatric surgery and also after. See your OBGYN before surgery in order to discuss the variety of birth control options if you're tr planning on getting off of the birth control pill or planning for future pregnancies. Gas or discomfort. Gas or discomfort is common after surgery. Pain can travel to the back or shoulders. Try warm herbal tea, over-the-counter medicine like Gas-X to help with this. Increase physically physical activity to break up the gas and avoid drinking from a from a straw, chewing gum, or swallowing air. As mentioned before, it's extremely important to meet with your surgeon, PA, and dietitian in order to make sure that you're on the right track. Please follow up with us one week after your surgery, one month, three month, six month, nine month, a year, a year and a half, two years, and annually after your surgery to make sure that you have the assistance that you need. Thank you and good luck.